which animal can open its mouth up to 130 degrees and swallow their prey four times larger than themselves. Have you guessed which animal this is? Well, the animal we want to talk about today is the python. It looks small, but the python has a weapon that can swallow huge prey deliciously. And without making you wait any longer, let us watch the python's large animal attacks and swallows to see how terrible they truly are. A close-up of a python snake attacking and swallowing the larger animals. Pythons are a family of non-venomous snakes found in Africa, Asia and Australia. They are mostly ambush predators as they often lie motionless in one position, waiting for the prey to pass and then to attack by surprise. Let us see how the python will enjoy its prey. The python swallows a samba deer. A samba deer was entangled by a python, squeezed as this deer was completely defeated. It is not that the act of biting the prey that this python enjoys the prey in a simpler way, and that is swallowing it. It opens its mouth wide and swallows its prey slowly. As the python's jaws are not attached to the skull, but to ligaments, as they are very flexible so that they can open as wide as possible. Python's salivary glands secrete a lot of lubricant to help the bait go into the throat faster and smoother. As the python ribs are also supportive, with a larger prey like a samba deer, the python uses bones in the head and the jaw to push the prey down to the abdomen. And after swallowing the prey whole, the next step is to push the prey along the digestive tracts as the stomach fluid helps the snake break down the tissues. And very quickly, the samba deer was in the super belly of this python. The giant python eats the lord crocodile. Pythons usually like to live in places with a high humidity and swamps where they can live and forage. However, in this environment, crocodiles are considered cold-blooded animals and are the killers that make many animals tremble. There have been many clashes between pythons and crocodiles. And will the crocodile be able to defeat the python with his powerful bite? Oh no, a crocodile was in a python's mouth. And perhaps because this python was quite large, the crocodile was defeated. Using its jaw muscles, the python slowly swallowed the prey into its stomach. As the python ribs also supported enthusiastically, moving the food from the pharynx down to the throat and straight into the skin of the abdomen. Not only the jawbone, but the bones in the mouth are also connected by elastic ligaments, which can be extended to both sides. 
And because of that, a python's mouth can not only open very wide, but also open both right and left sides without limitation. Yes, after just a few minutes, the crocodile was swallowed by the python. Pythons can digest prey in a few hours for smaller prey, and sometimes it can take weeks to decompose all of the larger prey. The python eats a deer fawn. Usually, the prey is defeated by wrapping many circles around the victim's body and squeezing it. And with extremely strong muscles, the python will squeeze its prey until it suffocates or has cardiac arrest and death. This video captures a scene of a python hugging a deer fawn as it begins to eat its prey slowly, seeing her child being attacked and eaten by the mother deer, she could not do anything as she could only watch her child being swallowed by a python. The python attacks an impala. This time, the baby impala was both targeted by a python and a hyena. As they started to approach the target, but the python was faster, as it immediately attacks by wrapping its prey tightly. And because of its greedy nature, and specializes in stealing the prey of other predators, even though the python is squeezing its prey, the hyena still dares to rush forward and snatch the impala away. Perhaps realizing the danger of the hyenas, the python let go of its prey and quickly climbed the tree. So the hyena successfully snatched the bait away. And although it didn't take any effort, it still got a delicious meal. Our video ends here. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And if you love exploring the animal world, then don't forget to press the channel subscription button in the corner of the screen to get updated on the latest and most interesting videos. Besides, please click the like and share this video with your friends and relatives to discover more about the animal world around us. And now goodbye and see you in the next video.